Hello, good my eighth um, Friday. Today we have this character Chen. Chen. And what the meanings in the Google Translate means say. Uh, that is say that the pearl, the bead from the pearl is called, is named Ye Guang. It's in comparison with the former fandoms that are thought have the name Ji Che. And now we have the the bead from the pearl called Ye Guang. But the uh, Google Translate is a bit too simple because it may not be so simple, there are several meanings though. And before that, we look at it, simplified writing in mainland China and Singapore. And that is the traditional writing and that is simplified writing. And that will be used in mainland China and Singapore and that is used in Hong Kong, Taiwan and some other overseas Chinese. <clears throat> okay. Now we have two sound, two way of pronunciation. One is "cheng," means weigh something or to say or call somebody. And as a verb, it's a bit different. "Cheng." See whether it's suitable or not. A tongue you mean it's suitable for the job or the wait for something. So it has several meanings and uh, this means whether you're fit for the position, the balance and suitable, okay, the way, the state or to name something, okay. So you know that actually it's a a big variation of meaning and that depends on the context of the sentence. Of course in this classic uh, in the in the ten thousand classic uh, it means name, okay. But in reality we have to do a lot of meaning for that. That is the basic form the Unicode in Chinese in Mandarin Chinese is cheng, but in Cantonese it ting. When we weigh something, we say ting a ting. Uh, whether you're suitable for the job, ting it. Okay. And it happened that Korean have a similar sound for the word. At the writing. That part means uh, what they call a coin, the what uh, a plantation uh, for rice. You know, the plantation for rice. That is writing. In the cursive script, um, the design you know. The no fixed rule, and so there's all the many other calligraphers that have designed a way to, to write. Basically, that's non stop. You start from here, go down, and go up, and non stop. You move here and move a bit up, and then go down. Then you can write a complicated ca character in a simple and beautiful way. Okay, that's it for this character today, and I'll talk to the next one. Either tomorrow or a few days later, depending on my schedule. Have a nice day and a nice weekend ahead.